Hey guys, TC Mabe here with TC Gaming. Wanted to bring you a video really quick. This is actually kind of a promotional video for the ND.store blueprints uh, for Smart Projectile. I was recently working with a project, still working with a project actually, that uh, includes um, projectile needs and also replication for ballistics VFX. Um, many of you probably got Ballistics VFX a while back when it was free in the marketplace. Uh, if not, you may have owned it anyway because it's a great package. But one of the problems with it for multiplayer games uh, is that it's not replicated. Well, what happens with Smart Projectile is they actually have an integration here to integrate Ballistics VFX, and it does end up with a replicated project. The demo um, or installation video for that is actually only 9 minutes and 43 seconds. I'm going to leave the links to both of these things in this video. I'm just going to show you in the thing real quick here, the only, I wouldn't even call it much of a tricky part of the setup, but the only thing you want to make sure is that when you follow along with his video, he does put in player starts in the ballistics VFX area. And in those player starts, he actually uses player start tags. And you have to fill these out with like a start one, start two, start three, start four for each of the player starts that you put in because he has a, a function that goes and finds um, actors of that class and then loops through them and picks a number. So as long as you fill that out properly, the installation video, as I said, is very short. And really in this main section here around 354, you really copy it over a piece from the ballistics effects uh, package and he already has everything laying here for you that when you dump this in you can just wire it up and uh, you have to create one variable from another section to bring in but it's really really super easy to make this thing work and where I got a little bit confused when I ran this I'll show you what mine looks like I have uh, you know just three players on screen here so I have client one and two up in the top left and lower right and then the center is the uh, server but if I were to connect over here, um, I can run a guy around. Now, if you notice, when I shoot this on my screen, you'll see that I have bullets impacting. You can see them in the top left-hand corner. You can see them in the center. And you should also be able to see some of those trails in the lower right. So that means that we have full replication for the visual aspects of ballistics effects. But what was confusing me is that if I shot this ball, for example... I could destroy that ball on the server. You see in the in the middle screen it's destroyed, but in the top left and lower right screens it's still present. And uh, now if I were in the server, so if I hit Shift F1 to go over here and I go to the server, these two windows on the sides are going to drop down. But if I go over here and I shoot that same, uh, not that ball, but I'll shoot the one on the right or whatever. So if I shoot that ball and destroy it, when we go back and look at the other two windows for this, let me put these back up. See, I wasn't getting things to destroy. And what it is, um, these are part of the um, the physics engine for... Um, <laughs> I was thinking of chaos physics, but it's actually the other one for, uh, for the destruction system, Apex Destruction. And there is no way to replicate these directly inside of this example. So it's not related to smart projectile not replicating them. It's actually related to the fact that the thing itself is not something you can replicate. If you go to the properties for this, there are no properties to replicate. You'd actually have to do this a different way. You'd have to build something uh, and put this inside of a blueprint probably and then uh, make a function to, um, to split this up into chunks and replicate the movement of those chunks or whatever. Not even sure if it's possible with the way that that's set up. Anyway, without making this too over, uh, overly long drawn, the thing looks great, um, you know, again, if, and even if you were playing with uh, the Spark Projectile in a single player version, you'd end up being able to do, you know, all your damage and everything like that. But in the multiplayer version, you're just not going to have some of the damage impacts showing up, but you will have the ballistics um, as far as like, you know, the blood splatters and all that kind of stuff. Like you'll see these decals here. If I shoot that, when I go back to the other screen, you should see that they also have blood splatter on the ground there too so again check this out smart projectile i got the thing up and running in you know 10 minutes and i had multiplayer replication for the particle effects and, and all that kind of stuff um so i'm going to leave the links in the video description go and check it out and hopefully you guys enjoy this resource i'll be making some other content videos real soon and you guys take care of yourself and have a great christmas if i don't get back before then take care